Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome back. I am Lucha FM. I'm currently Rafe Rover's manager, for people who don't know. Um, thank you for everyone's support, as always. Thank you for um, subscribing to me, watching the videos, stuff like that. I'm hoping people are still interested in this series. Um, just want to, before we crack on with today's episode, I did get a, one of my first comments, and... Um, Basically, it was a gentleman called David asking me about like things like tactical analysis, what my tactical analysis is, uh, is and stuff like that. Now, I find stuff like that boring. I just play, this is how I play football manager. It's not It's not going to be interesting for everyone for content. A lot of people like watching people talk about tactics and things like that. It really doesn't do anything for me. Uh, the type of FM people I like to watch is like Lelujo, who I've probably commented about a few times. He doesn't go into amazing detail when it comes to tactics. Now, I'm not aiming to be the next Lelujo because I'll never be as good as him. And I'm not trying to be negative on myself. He is just very charismatic and I just not. Like, I'm, I'm what they call quietly charismatic in a way, I suppose. Um, but I'm not as, uh, as entertaining as him. But I just like to play football manager the way I like to play it. Um... And if it entertains other people watching me play it and see how I get on, that's great. But you're not going to get like detailed analysis on anything. So if that's not for you, then I totally understand. But I'm just answering David's question, um, his comment, so he knows. But you know, I appreciate the 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 comment. I understand the reasons why he asked it. I understand that it's to try and make me a better FM content creator. But it's simply just not what I want to do. So, like I said, the detailed football manager content creators out there, there's plenty out there. Zealand's very good at it. Um, RDF Tactics is very good at it. So, you know, Clates as well. So, yeah, so just go watch them. If that's what you're looking for, I'm hoping that I've found you some people that you can get what you need. If you're just looking for me to play FM and have a bit of entertainment at the same time, that's great. It is very hard to do YouTube videos because... It's a lot easier on Twitch because you're bouncing off from people chatting to you. Um, for people in, who watch me on Twitch, I play Football Manager, but I more recently decided to play um, a, a wrestling simulation game called TEW2020. So it's basically the wrestling version of Football Manager. Um, so if you want to watch me... Um, watch me chat back and forth but unfortunately i haven't figured out how to put the twitch overlay on yet so you can see in the video when i'm posting it back on youtube the replay you can't see the chat so it is probably very confusing for people watching that but yeah i do prefer twitch because it's just a lot better uh for me for what i like to do so yeah but it's not not like i said i'm doing the youtube stuff because it keeps me interested in my fm save and also if it entertains even if it only entertains two or three people a week that that's all that matters to me at the end of the day you know that's what i'm here for so if you like it great if you don't then i don't take it personally it's like i said i'm not everyone's cup of tea but yeah anyway let's crack on um sorry about all that intro um but yeah i just felt like it needed to be said but thank you david um i do appreciate your comment but yeah, so where you left us off last, we only played two games of the league season. Um, we won one and lost one. And we did well. We've done well in the League Cup. Won every game, including the 10 0 win there. Uh, we beat Dundee United in the Premier, in the Scottish Premier League opener. And then we lost 2 0 to Hibs. Uh, and then we recently beat Kilmarnock 2 1 in the League Cup second round. Um, Hoyland is our best player so far by a, a mile. Eight goals already. Granted, seven of them were in the Premier Sports Cup. But he's in form at the moment, and we did sign him. I know we didn't. What am I on about? I thought we signed him for some reason. But we are. We got him alone for another season at least, so that's good. Um, Zach Swanson's been really good as well. He's playing really well. Um, four assists and two goals in the Premier Sports Cup. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's... Um, See how we get on. So we've got St. Mirren next game. They're currently third. They're doing very well this season. I mean, it's only been a couple of games, don't get me wrong. Um, also, I want to apologise for people that's put up with me and my nasally 
voice last week and my constant dribbly nose. I am so sorry. In hindsight, I shouldn't have been recording when I was ill, but I wanted to keep recording every day, keep producing a video every day. And my OCD was playing me up, so I had to do it. So in hindsight, I shouldn't have done it, and next time I won't. So, because I did have one spe specific person on the side game forums tell me that they tuned in to watch one of my videos and had to tap out after five minutes because mostly because of the my cold was put uh, my my uh, ill voice was putting them off watching me. So I will next time have to have some time off if I get a cold or if I get ill, but. I usually only get ill once a year. I'm quite lucky in a way. I know I've jinxed myself now, but um, yeah, so hopefully we'll be all right moving forward. Sometimes I'll just have to take a break. Um, but yeah, hope you all had a nice weekend. I had a lovely weekend. I went and saw my friends and then I went and saw me of a lot of friends and went to watch a local wrestling show, which was not the best quality of wrestling, but it was entertaining. Um, there was two women though that just would not stop. Just they're constantly chanting, constantly shouting at the bad guy wrestlers. They just got very into it. Um, but bless them. Um, but other than that, it was very entertaining. Anyway, right, let's crack on. So we've got Ruse in goal, Swanson as right back, Welsh and Warner in defence with Diarte as left back. We've got Ball and Fleck in centre midfield with Ince on the right, Aldine in the middle, Mr. Ref Rovers, Lewis Vaughan on the left. And the Hoyland up front. Let's hopefully start this episode with a good result. Talking of good results, Man United, my team that I support, very lucky to win against Luton by the sounds of it, but we did it. Fourth win in a row now. I can't remember last time we, we got four wins in a row. Uh, yeah, so we're doing well. Man City drop points as well, so uh, Liverpool and Arsenal will be happy with that. Mm, very quiet first half, no highlights so far. Actually, let me just check, have I got highlight? Yeah, we yeah. have. It's alright, for some reason I thought it had commentary only then. Uh, mm, yeah. Quiet. Oh, there we go, first highlight of the whole first half in the 44th minute. And that was not really worth watching, was it? Bit of a rubbish highlight. Did anybody uh, enjoy watching SmackDown? Um, I feel like The Rock is he's gone with he's, he's gone with the greatest hits. The, the, the one thing I will. Say about Chris Jericho, he he knows when to change it up, and I think with The Rock, unfortunately, he's merged his two, he's merged the, the the Rock that we all loved when we were a kid, the People's Champ, with Hollywood Rock, merged them together, and I don't think that's working personally, but we'll see. I just don't like I said. I dread to think. If he went, if he was in a feud with Cody Rhodes, I dread to think what the promos would be like because I feel like Cody is very current with his promo style, similar to like Eddie Kingston uh, and John Moxley and people like. And I just think The Rock's just um, stuck in the good old days, which a lot of wrestlers do do that. They they stick to what they're good at, but I just assume The Rock would change it up a bit. Um. But yeah, a bit of a shame, really. I just tried to think, because he'll just ridicule Cody like he did with John Cena in that feud. <clears throat> but I just don't think it works. Have we got a penalty? Have they got a penalty? Oh, well, we didn't, we didn't have a penalty anyway. Very quiet game, this one, weirdly. Highlights are picking up a bit now, but... Oh, it would have been there. It would have been their penalty, so that was lucky. Go on, Diarte. Oh, no. Uh, 
But yeah, not really excited about WrestleMania, if I'm honest with you. Uh, I'll probably enjoy it. Oh, but um, there's no real matches that get me excited. Like CM Punk coming back and him versus Seth Rollins was going to be a match I was going to look forward to. Um, but obviously CM Punk is built with glass at the moment and he can't do it. Um, I'm hoping Drew McIntyre is against Seth Rollins in night two. I think they can build that to be a good match. And both wrestlers are really good in the ring, so hopefully that'll be like a WrestleMania quality type of match. Other than that, I'm not really too bothered about... I like, I, I want, I like the storyline behind Cody versus Roman with Cody getting the win, but we like you know what's going to happen, so it kind of just makes it a bit... Mm, I like a bit of excitement. I like a bit of like not knowing what's going to happen. And I think that's with WWE. I think they're just sticking to a pattern, which is fair enough because we all moan about when they keep going one way or the other and creative. But I do like some consistency. I do. I do like the fact that Cody's going to win. But I don't, I'm not too excited about the actual match with, with Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns because I've already seen it. WrestleMania for me should be all about like fresh matches that have been built up for a while that we all want to see. Dream matches, and there isn't really any dream matches this year that I can think of at the rest of the current WrestleMania car. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch will be a pretty cool match. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's going to be any like standout WrestleMania quality matches, you know, like, like Shawn Michaels' Kurt Angle type of matches, things like that. Just something that just really you gets you into the match uh yeah wwe are doing well though so they are better than they were like two years ago for instance um they're getting more popular i think logan paul's going to be a big time player for them i think he's going to get a lot of casual fans into watching wwe and young younger people as well which is what they're desperate for Is he on a freak now? Right, we, uh, we drew that last game, I think, didn't we? Nil nil. Yeah. So uh, we've got Livingston next and then Celtic. Uh, hopefully we can beat Livingston. I'm not expecting us to do well against Celtic, but you never know. So we've got Ruse in goal, we've got Swanson as right back, Rosler in centre defence with Ramirez. Um, so we've got like two different centre backs this, in this game. And Diarte's left back, Paul and Pablo, Enrique in the field, Ince on the right, Dander in the middle, Musqui on the left, and Coyle in the front. So a bit of a rotated team by the looks of it. I don't know whether that's forced or not. Let's have a look. Warner's in the, on the bench. Maldini, Walsh. Oh, there you go. Hoyland scored already. He scores when he wants. He scores when he wants. He's Emma Hoyland. He'll score when he wants. At this point, I feel like Man United should sign Emma Hoyland in real life. And then we can have the Hoyland brothers up front. Uh, yeah, there you go. Second in the league in the Scottish Premiership after four games played. So no, the Celtics only play two games, so don't get too excited. And we're playing them next. Oh, what a cross. Oh, nearly. Go on. Oh, nearly. Hey, one thing I want to watch is that guy that does all them, goes around all the different grounds in Scotland. I need to get into that because I'm half Scottish myself. And I quite like the Scottish leagues, the the rundown stadiums, the, the old stadiums, the the you know, the different type of stadiums that you would you get in Scotland that you wouldn't necessarily get in England. So I like that. I like unique looking football grounds and stuff like that. Um there's that football there's that football pitch in I think it's somewhere in Gibraltar and you've got the big massive hilltop rock thing in, in the background and it look and it just looks like such a beautiful Scenery. As I get older, I appreciate nature more. Anyway, one nil. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a few players tired. Let's change it up a bit. Right, there we go. Oh, gone down to third now. Hopefully we can see this game out and get another and get this win. Let's try and get as many wins as possible because our aim is to basically stay in the Scottish League this season. Scottish Premiership, sorry. And then hopefully build from there. Anything else is a bonus. Oh, here we go. I have jinxed myself, haven't I? No, I haven't. Thank God for that. There we go. Grinded out a 1 0 win there. Currently third. And they're out for a few days. Uh, do I need another goalkeeper? Probably. This is a free transfer, so I can't really complain. Ah, oh, I didn't get beer off. Oh, we didn't go for him in the end. Ah, oh, didn't pay attention. Right, I'll be back in a minute for the Celtic game. Uh, just bear with us. All right, thank you. Welcome back to part two. Um, we've got, I forwarded it, holidayed it to the Celtic game. There wasn't really anything that happened. Uh, I might be signing a uh, a goalkeeper on a free transfer. So hopefully we'll talk about that afterwards if it goes through. But yeah, so here's our lineup against Celtic. Probably the biggest game of the season for us so far. Ruse in goal, Swanson is right back, Welsh and Warner in defence with Diarte's left back, Paul Fleck in midfield. In some Maldini and Vaughan in uh, the attacking midfield positions and Hoyle up front. So, more of a usual starting lineup here. So, let's see how we get on against the best team in Scotland. I'm on that historically before Rangers fans get upset. <coughs> All right, Warner. We got the first highlight, hopefully. Um, no, we haven't. Famous last words. Oh, intercepted though. Swanson. Oh, beautiful little play there. Oh, look at that. Boyden with his 10th goal of the season as well. What an important goal for the season. Emil Hoyland is probably doing better than his brother. Let's have a quick look while I'm at it. See how Rasmus is doing. Oh, he's got another brother, Oscar. Oh, well, let's give him a scout. Maybe I could try and sign all of the uh, Rasmus brothers. I won't be able to sign him, though. But you never know, one day I might be able to. Uh, he's doing all right, actually. How did he do? He scores nine goals in his first season, 14 in his second season, and two so far. But he's doing well. He's doing well. Fair play to him. Doing well in real life as well. We're very lucky to have him. But yeah, I might be able to sign Oscar. I haven't got any money, though. Have I? No. Right. Let's carry on with the game. Sorry about that, everyone. Maybe I could look to sign his brother on loan, like, uh, like Emil. Sorry. Got distracted now. Oscar. Oh, interesting. Okay. Watch this space. We probably won't be able to sign because we haven't got any transfer budget, so... But we'll see. Good save by Ruse. We end the game now. I'll be happy with a 1 0 win. Yate. Black. Who I tried to sell in the summer, but just wouldn't leave. So I give up and he's still here. But he's doing alright. Wise old head that we probably could do with. Oh. There you go. Celtic now. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen. David Watson. Never heard of him. Good signing from Kim Arnett, though. That's nice that Celtic could buy in uh, Scottish players, though. They're trying to be, I think they're trying to do a Bain and he could just sign all the talented players from their home nation. It's not a bad policy. Bain and he could be doing well with it for many, many years. Oh. 
Right, and Hoyland. Swanson's ins. Oh, ins. Beautiful pass. Oh, Hoyland with his second, but it's going to be disallowed. Maybe. Probably. I think he is slightly off. VAR. Nah. Nah, I didn't think it was going to happen. But still, take the confidence from that that we are. We're scaring Celtic. Aldini is taking the knock, so we'll take him off. Ball. Ball. Cross to Swanson. Beautiful pass, but to Lewis Vaughan. Lewis Vaughan with his first goal of the season. I'm surprised by that. 2 1, get in. A free kick just inside the box, Lewis Vaughan. <gasps> Lewis Vaughan! <laughs> we might end up beating Celtic here. I'm not going to count all my chickens just yet. But we might. We might be on to a uh, shocker here. Uh, can't get my words out tonight. Sorry, everyone. But yeah, on to a shocker here. We are definitely not. We we don't. We definitely weren't the favourites to win this game. Celtic were clear favourites, but we've shot them. We definitely. Oh, here we go. Yeah, see, this is why I don't get me get too excited. Oh, that's good though. They hit the post at least. Hopefully they won't score from this highlight. Yes, good. Right, Naldini, who I tried to take off but didn't work for some reason. Taking you off now. Put Lawrence on for you. Hopefully Tom Lawrence can pick out a decent pass. Swanson, you're tired as well. We can't take you off because you're only right back, so. I'll just leave it. Uh, ball, actually, we can take you off, I think. Yep. Connolly on. Good, we've intercepted. Ince. Oh, we get another. Imagine if we get another one. <gasps> oh. I've never been so excited to watch a game of bloody football on FM before. Right, let's see what happens with this free kick, though. If they score here, it's going to be squeaky bum time. Hopefully they won't. Come on, ref. They're taking the mick here. Let's get going. Oh, good, good, good. Right. Uh, Ince. You're booked and also tires. We'll put you on. Uh, put you on. There we go. Right, let's try and see out this game now. Let Warner. Don't lose the ball. Don't lose the ball. Conley. Showing some confidence there. Coming onto the pitch. Burke. Drives it forward. Beautiful cross. Oh, nearly. I'm just glad we're getting highlights and they end. That's what, that's what makes me happy that we might actually win this game. Right, oh, I'm just going to do a bit of time wasting. Very defensive, there we go. Oh, sorry, uh, it's gone, sorry. Okay, this is where we lose the ball. Oh no. <gasps> Beautiful pass to pick out Burke. Burke with a bit of techers there. Swanson now to Fleck. Diarte. Come on. <gasps> Graham Burke. 4 1. Oh my god. Who would have thought? This is like the equivalent of Luton Town beating, say, Man City. He just wouldn't expect us to win this game. And we are now top of the league. Unbelievable. I know it's FM. I know it's a game. And I know, it, you know, there's tactics you can use to easily manipulate the match engine so you win. But I haven't done that. I've literally just picked a positive. Attack. I literally just picked in a, a formation that the assistant manager recommended when you do that, when you do presets and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not going out of my way to cheat. But yeah, well done, Lewis Fall. This is why the fans love you. You beautiful, beautiful, you beautiful man. Ah, we've gone back to second now, Rangers. Sport of sports. But we were top, just remember that, we were top of the Scottish Premiership briefly this season. Uh, let me see if I can get the board to do anything. Right then, on that note, we'll call it a day for this episode. But thank you everyone for 
for watching it so far. And I hope you all have a um, a nice rest of your day. Um, I know it's Monday. I know it's a bit miserable, but yeah. But thank you. And I'll be back tomorrow. Um, and also as well, if you want to watch me live stream on Twitch, I'll be playing TW 2020, a wrestling simulation game. I'll be playing that at 2 p.m. UK time. So feel free to call along on Twitch if you want to chat. And enjoy, like I said, enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.